Hi, welcome back to English for Adults. Before we go on, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. This video is about winter and winter holidays. Check out the vocabulary compilation video as well. Meteorological winter is December, January and February. Astronomical winter is between December the 21st and March the 20th. Of course, this is only for the Northern Hemisphere. In Australia, for example, the winter months are June, July and August. It is usually cold in winter. It rains a lot. When it's very cold, the rain can become hail and freeze on the ground. Be careful! It's very slippery. If it's even colder, it snows. People sometimes get stuck in snowstorms. You have to clear the snow with a shovel and the roads with a snow plow. There are many miserable days in winter. But when there is a gentle snowfall, the fun begins. There are many ways to play in the snow. You can have a snowball fight, build a snowman, or make a snow angel. If you have a sleigh, you can slide down a hill. There are also a lot of winter sports. The most common ones are skiing and skating. People also enjoy figure skating and snowboarding. The biggest celebration of winter sports is the Winter Olympics. A lot of people go on ski holidays. However, many may come back with injuries such as broken bones. In the cold winter, many people like to eat and drink warm foods. Soups are popular and also hot drinks like mulled wine. People wear a lot of clothes in winter. They wear thick stockings, long sleeve tops, warm jumpers are a must, though in America they call them sweaters. You can wear thick coats, scarves, caps and gloves. On your feet wear boots that don't slip on the ice. Holidays The list of winter holidays starts with the most popular holiday, Christmas. For a detailed video on Christmas traditions, have a look at my older video, Winter Story. However, there are many other holidays around the end of December, but here I will only talk about two. Hanukkah. Hanukkah is a Jewish holiday also known as the Festival of Lights. It lasts eight days. The holiday doesn't have a fixed date as it is based on the Jewish calendar. On each night they light a candle on the menorah to remember the Hanukkah miracle. In the 2nd century BC, Jerusalem was ruled by Syrians and when the Jews revolted and won, they had to rededicate the temple to God. 
However, there was only enough sacred oil for one night to keep the candles of the menorah burning. The candles burned for eight nights and they could make more oil during that time. Jews celebrate not only by lighting candles, but also eating oily foods and playing special games. Kwanzaa Kwanzaa is a lesser known holiday. It means first fruits or harvest time. It was founded in the 1960s by Dr. Milinga Karenga to celebrate African culture. It's based on mainly Zulu traditions, but people can celebrate it according to their own African traditions. It lasts seven days from December the 26th. How people celebrate it can be very different, but the important thing is remembering African cultures and the seven principles of Kwanzaa. People light a candle on the Kinara each day. Because this is such a new holiday, it is still evolving. Martin Luther King Jr. Day Martin Luther King Jr. Day is celebrated on the third Monday in January. Martin Luther King Jr. was an American civil rights activist and his birthday was on January 15th. His birthday became a holiday in 1983. It's a day of service, so on this day people are encouraged to do some kind of service for their community. However, it's only a day off at 33% of workplaces. Groundhog's Day Groundhog's Day is celebrated on February the 2nd. It's originated from Germany. The first Groundhog's Day was celebrated in 1886 in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. The next year, the groundhog at the local club was declared America's official weather forecasting groundhog and his name was Phil. The groundhog comes out of his hole and if he sees his shadow, he goes back and that means six more weeks of winter. If he doesn't, he stays outside and there will be an early spring. Chinese New Year Chinese New Year is a celebration of Chinese culture in the U.S. It's never on the same date because it follows the Chinese calendar. Cities with the largest Chinese American populations host events such as parades, festivals, street parties, and fireworks. President's Day President's Day is celebrated on the third Monday in February. It has a long history. After the first president, George Washington died, people started to celebrate his birthday. Later, another great president, Lincoln's birthday was also celebrated. They were both born in February. The celebration of Washington's birthday was moved to the third Monday in February so that people can have a three-day weekend. However, from then on it evolved into a celebration of all the presidents, past and present. It's a patriotic holiday and people hold celebrations and reenactments on this day. Valentine's Day Valentine's Day is celebrated on February 14th. It's a very old holiday that has been celebrated since ancient times. The holiday has pagan and Christian roots. It has been a celebration of love since the Middle Ages. People started sending each other love letters on the day in the 18th century. 
People send greeting cards to each other to this day. Mardi Gras Mardi Gras is also called Fat Tuesday. It's the last day before Lent. It also has roots in pagan holidays that celebrated fertility. The French colonists took the holiday to the American continent. It's celebrated mainly in New Orleans today with street parties, parades, costumes, and throwing beads. You have to see it at least once. <laughs> Have fun in the snow and keep warm. Check out the vocabulary collection. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, please support my work on Patreon.